In this video, we're going to create the geometry for the model. We'll create a, a surface model that we can use. So we'll start by double clicking on geometry to open space line. This will take a minute to come up. First thing we'll do is we'll set our units. So we'll go to File, Space Claim Options, Units. Check we have metric, millimeters. That's all good. So we'll just hit OK. No need to change any of that. The first thing we'll do is we'll go in here and uh, select New Sketch Plane. Click on the Z axis. So we'll get a, a sketch on the XY plane. And then we'll click the Plane View. So the first thing we'll do is uh, create a sweep arc. We'll center out the origin. And we have two things here we need to specify the angle and the diameter. So we'll start the diameter is 20 millimeters. We'll hit tab, specify the angle we want it to be 60 degrees. So you can enter that 60 degrees, hit enter, and you can kind of just drag the arc around. We'll make it three we'll make it 300 degrees for the cartilage drink. So it's 60 degrees between the endpoints. Also just hit enter. Then we'll create two line, two radial lines to the ends of the arc like so. And then we'll go back and create another sweep arc. Once again, center at the origin, and we'll just connect the end points of our first arc the other way. This way, this the larger arc will end up uh, being the cartilage ring, and the small arc will end up being the tissue gap. So then we'll go back to 3D mode, and we'll see it'll convert our, our, our sketch into edges and surfaces. So go to trimetric view. And so the first one is we'll select this edge. So our, I'll select pole if you haven't selected pole already. And the first thing we'll do is uh, go and select the, select the pole direction. Click on the Z axis. So that way you know, and then we can just take the, drag this edge and pull it. And we'll type in five millimeters and hit enter. Then we'll go down to over to pole and click on no merge. Click on the bottom of the edge, and we'll drag this out five millimeters as well. And we'll see we now have uh, you know, a, a large arc which will represent a cartilage ring, and then a, a smaller arc which will be the tissue, kind of tissue in between the ends of the ring. I have to select, and we'll just delete these two surfaces. Right click, delete. Right click, delete. Go back to pull, and we'll now we'll select both edges. Select no merge again. Select the pull direction again, click on the z-axis, and then we'll just drag these out uh, 10 millimeters, this time for the gap between the cartilage rings. And that's all good for now. Let's click on the trimetric to get it centered again. So, let's, so now we have the three, the three parts of our system. We have the cartilage ring, the gap between the ends of the ring, and then the tissue band between rings. And let's go ahead and rename these real quick. So we'll call this one, right click on it, rename ring, enter, call this part, we can click on the service, we'll see, uh, we'll call this tissue A, and then we'll call this one tissue B, and that'll make it easier for us to track these later on as we go. And the final thing we'll do is, we, since we want to create seven rings, We'll go click on the linear pattern tool. We'll control click on to get select all three objects. Then we'll uh, select the direction. Click the Z axis. Then under options, we'll go over here. We want seven rings. So we'll click on seven for X count and for the X pitch. That's the spacing between each uh, object. We want it to be the total width of the ring and the cartilage. So that's 15 millimeters. And so we'll hit enter. Then click on the green check mark. And now we have seven different ones. And we click on try to get centered. So then the last thing we want to do is we want to take off this last uh, tissue ring because we want to start and end with a cartilage ring. So we go to select using box. We want to select all of these. So I select them all. Right click on them. Click make it dependent. And now we can just uh, go back to select. Right click on this last tissue band 
and delete that. If you don't make them all independent first, you can't just just, just delete one band. It'll delete all of them. So you got to do that. And the final thing we got to do is go clear it, click on design. At the bottom down here it says share topology. You know, we want to change that to say share topology uh, share. That's actually very important for later on. And that's all for the geometry. So we go up to file, click save project, and then we'll close space line.